Hey guys, welcome back. It feels like it's been a long time, but for today's video, all you're gonna need is an oversized t-shirt, a dress, scissors, pins, a sewing machine, or a needle and thread. And that clip that you just saw was just me showing you guys what the shirt looked like before. So once you gathered your materials, all you're gonna do is go ahead and fold your t-shirt perfectly in half. And then the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and get that dress and fold that perfectly in half and go ahead and lay that on top of your shirt. And after that, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and grab my pins and I'm going to go ahead and pin that dress down in place so that I can cut around it without it moving. And once you begin to cut your shirt, you want to remember that you wanna leave seam allowance and you want to make sure that you're leaving extra room so that the shirt can fit because the shirt is not stretchy. So you wanna leave extra space to make sure that it's going to fit. So yes, all you're gonna see me do right now is go ahead and pin it down. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut around it. Also, I hope you guys have been having great days. I hope you guys have been having positive vibes around you and enjoying my videos. I hope you guys drop some suggestions soon so I can know what you guys wanna see. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything, guys. So, yes, here I am cutting. And also, like I said, don't forget to make sure you leave space extra space so that shirt can fit you because you don't want to do all this work and then at the end it's too small so make sure you leave extra space and you will be better off leaving more than less So here's how it looks once I went ahead and cutting. So I'm just taking those pins off and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up so you can see how it looks right now. Here's our little mini dress. And so now what you're going to do is go ahead and separate the front of that shirt from the back. And the only part that is connected at right now is those straps. So what I'm doing is go ahead and cut in straight down the middle of that so now I'm gonna have uh, the back piece of that shirt and then the front piece and once we do that what we're gonna do is go ahead and begin to pin around those edges so we can go ahead and hem them I'm gonna pin around the strap and the neckline on both pieces of the dress
So here is what the dress looks like once I went ahead and pinned it down. And I don't know if it's just me, but seeing the something perfectly pinned down is so aesthetically pleasing. It just looks so cute. So yes, I'm just making sure you guys see how good it looks once it's pinned down. So once you go ahead and pin it down, you're going to go ahead and sew that part. So here is how it looks now. And let's take a moment to look at how perfect this stitching looks. I am just so proud. I've came a long way. It looks so good. But yes, this is how it looks after I went ahead and sewed those pieces down. Just make sure you see how good that looks. It looks professional if you ask me. So yes, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and lay those dress pieces out and what we're going to do is go ahead and flip them over and flip them inside out. You already know this part. Basically like I said in plenty of my other videos. And we're going to go ahead and start pinning down both sides. Also, I wanted to go ahead and say that this shirt is from Walmart and it was only $5 and some change. So, this just goes to show that you can literally go to Walmart and Walmart really have some really nice oversized t-shirts or just t-shirts in general. You just have to go to the right section and boom, I made myself a dress for $5. I already had everything I needed at home. So, literally all I had to do was buy this shirt. So yes, go ahead and go get you a shirt and make you a dress and let me see how it turns out. So yes, once you go ahead and pin it down and you go ahead and sew it. I'm just giving you a better view of how it looked pinned down because once again, seeing something perfectly pinned just looks very good. And here is the look after I went ahead and sewed it down. And you can't really see it because of course the thread is the same color. But you can see it a little bit. And once again, I am so proud of that stitching. It looks so good. But yes, once you go ahead and get to this step, the last thing to do is go ahead and sew those straps down. And all you're going to do is go ahead and leave the dress how it is and you're just going to sew straight across. 
because the dress is still inside out like how we sewed the sides down so straight across and here is our mini dress something cute quick and easy you could throw it on if you guys would like for me to show you a more complex style rather than just this basic style drop it in the comments below and i thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video